I'm pleased to be joined by Ilan Jacobs, who's the head of ESG policy, regulation and government affairs at City. Now, Ilan, welcome. Um, so are we in the finance sector really on the right track on tackling climate change or are we just talking a good talk? Um, I think there are some really important and worthwhile initiatives going on. I think there's always more, more to be done. You're obviously well aware of all of the, you know, the large banks' net zero commitments, which you know, all, all were part of the GFANS alliance. And so on. I think that, that's really, really important element of banks decarbonising their own balance sheet, which I think is a meaningful and important um, target and isn't just talking the talk. But I also think supporting clients with sector pathways We've um, recently signed up to sustainable steel initiatives. So that's working with the steel industry, which is a really hard to decarbonize mm. sector, to enable them to access transition finance to make their very expensive decarbonization journey. We've done similar with the shipping industry, another hard to abate sector. And then we're also kicking one off with the aviation industry. So there are important initiatives that are taking place that aren't just words, but I think clearly this is an enormous global challenge with a really mm. pressing target. And what do you want to see from the public sector in support of what you're doing in the private sector? I think there's lots of important roles in the public sector, but I would highlight two. One is as um, a provider of finance, a co-financier, mm. a, a risk sharer, de-risking some of the projects that the private sector finds it too difficult to take on their own. I think that's really key, and the role of the EIB and other development banks is really key there. But I also think more widely for policymakers, mm. actually setting clear bright lines for industry, for sector pathways, being very clear about policy certainty. This is where we expect this sector to go. This is how it's going to align with our country or our jurisdiction's pathway. So a quick example from cars, from the vehicle industry. So setting a deadline for the rolling off, the finish of petrol cars and gas piled cars is exactly the kind of clear certainty that investors then can get behind and say, right, we can now, what sectors, what companies inside the auto industry are transitioning, have got a clear plan to get towards. And I think those kind of clear policy rules are exactly what we need from policymakers. Ilan, thank you very much.